Which of the following are not, always watch out for not and accept and other what have you when you take your test, powers of the Kansas Real Estate Commission? A, administer real estate licensing process. B, impose civil fines upon licensee. C, arrest and imprison licensees for violations or D, apply laws, acts, and rules related to the business of real estate? The correct answer is C, arrest and imprison licensees for violations. The Kansas Real Estate Commission may impose civil fines upon licensee, but they cannot arrest or imprison licensees for violations. A broker must blank to commission. A send copies of all executed contracts, B, grant full access of records examination, C, present all agreements for approval, or D, email all closing documents. The correct answer is B, grant full access for records examination. Broker is required to grant the commission full access to their records for examination. When is a broker entitled to receive a commission? A, when the agreement is executed. B, when the commission approves. C, when the client offers the payment. Or D, when the contract is consummated or terminated. The correct answer is D, when the contract is consummated or terminated. Broker is only entitled to receive a commission upon consummation or termination of a contract. Brokers are required by the commission to maintain all records for real estate business A, for at least three years, B, until a transaction is closed, C, un unless a transaction is terminated, or D, for at least six years. The correct answer is A, for at least three years. The commission requires all brokers to maintain all records relating to real estate transactions for a minimum of three years. A broker who maintains a trust account is required to A. Send a copy of the check registered to the commission each month. B. Retain complete records of all monies received or escrowed on real estate transactions. C. Retain only receipts for disbursements. Or D, make copies of all deposit slips to file with commission. The correct answer is B, retain complete records of all monies received or escrowed on real estate transactions. If a broker maintains a trust account, they are required to retain complete records of all monies received or escrowed. If you like these questions, you can get thousands more just like them. We have an online exam prep package that you can buy to get instant access to our database of study resources, like unlimited practice exams, vocabulary flashcards, and an ebook study guide that explains concepts and math formulas. Ooh, the link for that is in the description and comments below. All right, let's get back to the questions. A seller's agent may accept commissions from A, the buyer's agent, B, the seller, C, the supervising broker, or D, the transaction coordinator. The correct answer here is C, the supervising broker. Ah, you thought it was going to be the seller or the buyer's agent. A seller's agent or any licensee may only accept commission payments from the supervising broker. Who can a buyer's agent accept commissions from? A, the buyer. B, the seller. C, his or her supervising broker. Or D, the seller's agent. The correct answer is C, his or her supervising broker. It's never the buyer or the seller if you're a licensee. A buyer's agent or any licensee may only accept commission payments from their supervising broker. Brokers are prohibited from paying a referral fee if A, the referring licensee works for the same broker, B, 
the referring licensee works for a different broker, C, they know payment will result in a payment of a rebate, or D, the referring licensee is a non-resident? The correct answer is C, they know payment will result in payment of a rebate. No broker may pay a referral fee knowing that it will result in payment of a rebate. Rebates are prohibited in the state of Kansas. A licensee may not solicit a prospective seller, buyer, landlord, or tenant knowing that the principal party has A. An exclusive brokerage relationship agreement with another broker B. A lien on their property C. Sold or purchased a home with another broker or D. Already met with a competing broker The correct answer is a, an exclusive brokerage relationship agreement with another broker. If a licensee is aware that there is an exclusive brokerage ag relationship agreement in place with another broker, he or she may not solicit a prospect. A broker blank to break an agency or written transaction brokerage agreement. A, may advise a seller. B, may advise a buyer, C, may induce any party, or D, may not induce any party. The correct answer is D, may not induce any party. No licensee may induce any party to break any agency or written transaction agreement. If a licensee is marketing his personal real estate, which of the following is required of any advertisements? A, they must appear as any other listings ad. B, they must clearly state the seller's status as a licensee. C, the title must state principal transaction. Or D, they must include a photo of the licensee. The correct answer is B, they must clearly state the seller's status as a licensee. Licensees must disclose their status as a licensee when marketing their own property. A licensee selling her own property is required to include which of the following when advertising the property for sale? A, the term undisclosed principal. B, her status as a licensee and the nature of her interest in the property. C, licensee may not self-represent. Or D, a copy of her license. The correct answer is B, her status as a licensee and the nature of her interest in the property. When selling a property he or she personally owns or has interest in, a licensee must disclose such fact in all advertising. An agency agreement or written transaction brokerage agreement must not contain A, an expiration date, B, the client's name, C, terms of compensation, D, authorization for broker to sign or initial any document on behalf of the parties. The correct answer is D, authorization for broker to sign or initial any document on behalf of the parties. No agreement may authorize a broker to sign or initial a document on behalf of the parties to a transaction. A seller's agent has no duty to A. Conduct an independent in inspection of the property for the benefit of the buyer. B. Submit documents to their supervising broker. C. Deliver funds to their supervising broker. Or D disclose adverse material facts about a buyer? The correct answer is A, conduct an independent inspection of the property for the benefit of the buyer. A seller's agent has no duty or obligation to conduct an independent inspection of the property for the benefit of the buyer. When would a real estate brokerage relationships brochure not be required. Watch out for not and accept. A. When the customer is selling his own property. B. 
whenever the customer has already received the brochure from the licensee's brokerage firm, C, the brochure is not required to be provided to buyers, or D, if the customer is a former licensee. The correct answer is B, whenever the customer has already received the brochure from the licensee's brokerage firm. If a customer has already received a real estate brokerage relationship form from the licensee's brokerage firm, there is no requirement for them to provide one. A broker's compensation may be paid by the A, seller or landlord, B, buyer or tenant, C, property owner, or D, seller, landlord, buyer, or tenant. The correct answer is D, seller, landlord, buyer, or tenant. Broker's compensation in a real estate transaction may be paid by the seller, landlord, buyer, or tenant. In this case, it's kind of all of the above. Upon closing of the transaction, a broker remains obligated to his or her client to A, account for all money and property related to the engagement, B, disclose any previously undisclosed property defects, C, refer service providers for maintenance, or D, review property tax notifications. The correct answer is A, account for all money and property related to the engagement. Upon closing, broker remains obligated to a client to account for all money and property related to the engagement. A broker is considered blank unless an agency relationship is established or they are a seller's subagent. A, a transaction broker. B, a buyer's agent. C, a seller's agent. Or D, a tenant's agent. The correct answer is A, a transaction broker. A broker is considered a transaction broker unless an agency relationship is established or they are a seller's subagent. A licensee lists a home for sale and includes in the advertisement that the property is sure to triple in value over the next two years. The supervising broker must A, Ensure the brokerage name is included on that advertisement. B, revise the advertisement as it may be construed as a guarantee of future profits from resale. C, deactivate the licensee's license immediately. Or D, report the licensee to the commission for a violation. The correct answer is B, revise the advertisement as it may be construed as a guarantee of future profits from resale. No licensee may guarantee future profits or resale value of real estate. If a broker receives a request from the commission to examine his real estate records, what is the broker required to do? A, make all records available to the commission for examination at their discretion. B, make copies of all the records and overnight them to the commission for examination. C, inform the commission that he will need time to gather records from all the licensees. Or D, inform the commission that he will require three months notice to make the records available. The correct answer is, a. Make all records available to the Commission for examination at their discretion. Brokers are required to make available all records for examination at the Commission's discretion. What is required for a licensee to place a for sale sign on a property? A. An exclusive agency agreement. B. A letter of intent to sell. C. A court order or D, written consent of the owner? The correct answer is D, written consent of the owner. Written consent of the owner or owner's agent is required prior to placing a for sale sign on any property. Don't get tricked by thinking it was num uh, answer A, the exclusive agency agreement. Blank are responsible for ensuring licensees do not violate commission rules and regulations. 
Is it A, office managers, B, licensed assistants, C, the Kansas Real Estate Commission, or D, supervising brokers? Correct answer, D, supervising brokers. Supervising brokers are responsible for ensuring their associated licensees abide by commission rules and regulations. Licensees are prohibited from which of the following? A. Attempting to appeal a tax assessment. B. Specializing in both commercial and residential brokerage at the same time. C. Extending equal treatment to a minority buyer. Or D. Refusing to appear at a commission hearing as ordered. Correct answer is D. Refusing to appear at a commission hearing as orders. All licensees are prohibited from refusing to appear at a commission hearing, engaging in harassment of another licensee, or threatening to file a lien on a residential property. Licensees blank share their commission with an unlicensed assistant for negotiating a lease with a landlord client. A. May B may not, C, may with broker approval, or D, may with appropriate disclosures? The correct answer is B, may not. No licensee may share their commission with an unlicensed person for performing acts requiring a license. Supervising brokers may pay real estate commissions only to A, other brokers, B, branch brokers, C, associated licensees, or D, employees. The correct answer is C, associated licensees. Supervising brokers may only pay commissions to their associated licensees not directly to licensees associated with another supervising broker. So, how'd you do? <laughs> Let me know how many questions you got right in the comments below. Now, if you want more free exam prep resources, then check out this video next. All right, everyone, that's all for today. I'll see you next time.